What's up everybody? It's Dev Free Joel here. I just wanted to give you guys some quick uh, thoughts on this Twitter deal that Elon Musk is doing. I think it's absolutely insane. I am not understanding this at all. Um, I don't know why he's doing it, but I'm going to try to break it down as best as I can to give the folks a good idea of, of what the hell is going on. So Elon Musk is going to purchase Twitter um, for $46.5 billion. What's interesting to me is the financing of this though. Let me break it down. So over the weekend, he was able to go to a few banks and try to figure out how to pay for this company. Now, he's rich enough to do this, but obviously when you're buying a company of that level of magnitude, you are going to need some debt to finance this. You don't want to put all your worth in there, but we're going to get to this. So over the weekend, the banks basically decided, OK, we're going to fund half the deal for you. Right. So half of the forty six point five billion dollars, we're going to fund half of it. Here's where it gets interesting. The collateral that Elon Musk is using to fund t this purchase of Twitter is $62.5 billion of Tesla stock. That's number one. Number two, half of the deal, he has to come up with cash. So I think that's roughly, what is that? $21 billion in cash that Elon Musk has to come up with. Now, last time I checked, he doesn't have $21 billion sitting in a cash account. Most of his wealth is tied up in Tesla. So all of you that have been buying Tesla over the last couple of years, you guys have been able to fund him to purchase Twitter. Now, why is this important? He needs to come up with cash, which means if you are a Tesla shareholder, he is going to have to sell his shares in Tesla, a good portion of it, to fund the deal. Now, over the last, I don't know, three, four months, Tesla has been, what, down 15%, whatever it is, right? All tech stocks this year haven't been doing too well. What do you think is going to happen to Tesla stock over the next eight months as he tries to pay for this deal? Remember, he's the largest shareholder of Tesla, which means he's going to have to sell the shares progressively over time to fund this deal. Okay, so if you're a Tesla shareholder right now, you should be pissed because there's a very good chance that your stock is not gonna do well this year for the rest of the year just because of insider selling by your CEO, okay? Now, why is he doing this? Twitter itself has not been a good company, has not been a profitable company. In fact, whether you like Donald Trump or not, since the time that he got off of Twitter and they started pushing people off Twitter, that stock has been doing relatively terrible, okay? They're not able to really um, have profit margins the way they used to. They had a great jump in the beginning, but now it's not that much. So why is he doing this? By allowing Twitter to go private, he's able to now restructure the company the way he sees fit. This is why a lot of companies do this. So if you think back to Dell, right? The actual Dell company, when they all had all these desktops, Dell was a great company. And then it wasn't anymore, right? because everybody started moving on to Apple products and Dell started getting destroyed. So what happened was Dell went private, they restructured the company, and then they came back out as a publicly traded company again. Same thing's probably going to happen with Twitter. He's going to make it a private company. He's going to restructure it. He's going to try to sell off some debt. Um, the great part about being private is that they don't have to report to shareholders every quarter. So you don't have to worry about profit margins every quarter and earnings calls and all this type of stuff. Now, $21 billion of his money is going to be tied up in Twitter. In Twitter. What's going to happen is likely over the next 6 to 12 months, after he does the restructuring, they're going to go private again. I don't think they're going to roll this under, under Tesla. It doesn't make any sense from a structuring standpoint. And again, like I said, Tesla shareholders are not happy with this because they're going to have to sell their stock to fund this and they don't want anything to do with Twitter. But more than likely, he's going to probably make this a publicly traded company in some form or another within the next six to 12 months. Um, you're talking about a good portion of his cash being held as collateral by the banks, as well as being sold to purchase the actual company. Um, I personally don't understand this. I don't like it. One of the things they teach you in corporate finance is that you want the CEO of your company to focus on one product, right? One of the reasons that Tesla always bothered me and Elon Musk always bothered me was that his mind is everywhere, whether it's on SpaceX, whether it's on Tesla, now it's on, on Twitter. You're not focusing your time on creating shareholder wealth for the company that everybody's buying you for. Um, what they call that is key mannerist, right? If he got hit by a bus right now, everybody would sell their shares because everybody's buying into Elon and not buying into the companies. So that's just my way of explaining this. There's a lot of money being put up. If you're a Tesla shareholder, good luck. Um, your stock is probably not going to do too well this year. So if you're a long-term investor, just hold on. If you're a short-term investor, good luck.
Um, if you're a Twitter shareholder, you know, it's a good cash payout. That's pretty good. Here's the last thing I'll leave you guys with, though. The board of Twitter made a very quick decision on this. If you think about it, it's relatively quickly that they accepted this offer. And the premium that they're getting on their purchasing of the securities is about 38%, okay? But I want you to think about this. The board of Twitter decided to, to basically sell the company to a private investor because they believe that they cannot generate a, more than 38% in their returns on this stock over the next five years. What that basically means is that they don't think they can average a 6% return over the next five years. That's insane, right? They think the company is so trash. They think the company is, is so indebted with debt. They think that the profit margins are so tight that they cannot produce any shareholder wealth over the next five years that they have to sell the company now in the best interest of their shareholders. And Elon Musk is buying this company. So clearly they know something about the company that's not doing well. So good luck to Elon Musk. I don't own Twitter. I don't own Tesla. I damn sure don't own Tesla because of stuff like this. This would drive me out of my mind. Um, but that's just my way of explaining it to you. So hopefully you guys found some uh, something good with this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm Dead Free Joel, and I'll see you later.